Okay, my outstanding friends, very quick today. What do we see here? Somebody walking out of a wall. This is the catacombs. And what is this right here? Well, that looks like blood to me. What is that right there? It looks like blood to me. What is that right there? It looks like blood to me. What is this right under here? It looks like blood to me. Does it mean anything? Well, let's see. Okay, we saw the blood coming out from here. We saw the blood in the armpit. We saw the blood in the neck. All you got to do is look at your own arm and you can see where the blood is in the crook of your arm. This, by the way, is what you might want to take a look at the sphinx on the side of the sphinx and see these tubes running down the side of the sphinx's head. All right, this is the positioning of the heart. You see this big, huge tube here? You see that? That's where all that blood was running off from. Your red blood runs. The, bl the blue blood in here, which is the expended blood, has has clamps and va valves in there, so it can't it it doesn't leak. This is the really leaky blood, the red blood, and that's what you see. Okay, I'm just gonna leave you with this. That I believe is an artery. That is the sphinx. The arteries run out; they bleed red, and that's what you're seeing right there. Okay, if you pay attention at the sphinx, this where is blown out is just in front of the ear and just below, and down here it's blown out. This is where the red blood blows out. It's very easily eroded. Okay, my friends, um, not only have scholars been wrong about virtually everything in our ancient past, and as I showed you, they're wrong about some of the basic fundamentals that we base our life on. And that also relates to our religious beliefs and our afterlife. And as I will show you, it is stunning what they have missed.